Hey folks, my name is Kristen Easters. I'm a potter here in Asheville, North Carolina, and I'm about to give you a little tour of my home pottery studio. So here she is. Um, she's a modest little studio. Um, I have power hooked up through a 100 foot extension cord. What I'm going to show you today is how to make these candlestick forms that I've been working on. I find them to be pretty fun to experiment with different shapes and sizes. And these forms also symbolize the importance of practicing healing acts right now. So I thought it was an appropriate form with their spiritual quality. So first off, what I'm gonna do is get my clay centered and I'm working with a stoneware and got about a pound here. So I'm just gonna get it centered and then I'm gonna start coning up because um, I wanna give myself a good foundation for my stem of my candlestick. I'm going to leave some extra clay up at the top because that is what I'm going to use to form the little base of where the candle is going to sit. So that can be flat, it can be curved. This is a, an aspect of the design that you can really have fun with. So as you can see, I'm just creating a little sort of plate at the top um, where the candle will sit. So once I've established that aspect of the design, I'm going to move on to the actual stick part. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wet trim using some of my favorite trimming tools. This is actually a wood carving tool, but I love using it on my pots. So I'm going to go ahead and give my candlestick a preliminary uh, sort of shaving with this form, kind of giving it a, a skinnier sort of silhouette before I go in and add some more ornate details and give it some ridges. So I've got uh, an array of tools here that I can sort of gauge which ones I'd like to use in the moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and start out with a smaller one because I think I want these ridges to be more detailed. So I'm gonna need a smaller tool to achieve smaller creases between ridges. So I actually really enjoy wet trimming and this is a Dolan tool which um, is my favorite trimming tool. So as you can see, I'm just sort of refining the silhouette and I'm just going in and creating a more defined design and sort of giving shape to these little ridges. And I really quite like it. It makes for a, an elegant aesthetic. Kind of reminds me of the Middle Ages. All right, so I have uh, defined my ridges of my form. And so I'm just gonna take a moment to get these little sticky pieces off before I cut it off the board. Alright, 
So for this next step, I am going to take my candlestick and trim this bottom part. So I've got a nice foam bat here and that is a great piece of equipment. Um, I don't know what I would do without mine. Highly recommend getting one if you don't have one. So now I'm gonna take this trimming tool, which is uh, more of a triangular shape, and I'm just gonna go ahead and find the center of this candlestick and just kind of make an incision and twist so that I am removing um, the clay from the inside of this candlestick. So as you can see, with just one spinning motion, I've already taken out um, a nice sort of, almost like a flower petal here of clay. Um, so I've started to carve away and hollow out the inside of the stem. So I'm just gonna continue to do this motion until I have removed um, all the clay leading up to the this area. So my goal is to carve away all the clay up until about right here. So as you can see, um, this is a reductive method and um, I am shaving off a lot of clay, but I'm actually gonna save all these little shavings and I'm gonna end up uh, reclaiming these shavings into clay again. So um, it doesn't really bother me that I'm taking away so much clay. So as you can see, that did um, quite a difference with just a few motions there. guys well thanks for checking out my studio this was fun i hope you'll tune in again another time for another demo and i'll catch you later